Hey folks, this is Chad with Airstream in Greensboro. And I'm his wife, Laura. And behind us, we have the all new 2024 Airstream Atlas on the all new 4500 Mercedes chassis. And today we are gonna give you a walk around of the outside and the inside. Let's get started now. All right, so we're gonna start on the outside and I know you guys are not gonna be happy about that, but you're just gonna to have to wait to see Laura's impression of the inside of the Atlas. Now, if you wanna see and hear about all the specs, what makes the 4500 chassis special, what you're gonna to wanna to do is hang out for a little bit longer, about three more days, and this Sunday, this coming Sunday, we will post the full walk around video where I go into all of the details about the chassis and about the Atlas. Now. This is the 2024 Atlas. It is the all new system. It's only 4,500 chassis, which is gonna give you almost 2,000 pounds of payload capacity, which is why you would want to be on the 4,500 chassis. Now, I think currently, Airstream is the only manufacturer manufacturing a motorhome on this chassis, at least to this point. I'm sure someone else will do it, but that's not currently happening. Now, you're gonna see on the front, the Mercedes grill you're also going to have some really nice ground effects that airstream adds on that makes it just look really nice the integrated step there under that hood is going to be the new four cylinder you also have um, a really cool system in the the um, windshield here that basically heats the whole windshield without even the heat being on it's an integrated um, defrost system that's really cool for mercedes if you look really hard you can see the little little squiggly lines uh, going through the whole windshield. Now in the full video, we're gonna do a test drive and I'll talk about all of these stuff in the cockpit area. This one, we're gonna do a little bit quicker. You do have integrated cameras and of course, integrated fiberglass steps that are made by Airstream there. We also have just really nice lines coming back on this. That I really like with the, the Atlas. You're also getting with Airstream, this really nice body line. So there's no um, seams. See, I, seams. See, I forget how to say things. This is why I'm bringing Lord around now. No seams there, no seam there, because it's all gonna be molded by Airstream. It takes them about 300 hours just on the body work and paint work that they do with this. And it is fully cut, so you don't feel lines right there either. And of course, we have the really cool power step. Let me turn the step hold off. To give you that flat floor, you got this really cool step. I just, I love the way it looks. It's like a party trick and it folds up. And once it's folded up, you've got this really nice line. It's almost an integrated step. You don't really see it. We do have storage right here, as well as your HDMI cable there. You've got power there. You have your coaxial cable and USB charge all right there and an access to get up to it. If you wanna plug into that, but still have the door shut, you have that ability. We have a chrome exhaust tip right there as, as well. And then coming on back, we're gonna have the frameless windows. We have both the awning light that will light the awning area. And then there's a integrated LED light in the awning as well. Now under this door, it's gonna be the Volta system. And if you opt for the standard setup, you'll have a diesel generator, uh, generator there. And if you go for the E1 package, it'll be the battery system. We have some extra storage right here as well. Not large enough for golf clubs, but it is some good storage. And that's gonna be a light there that has the motion sensor on it. So you can leave that light on and it will kick on as soon as it detects motion, which is smart. And then again, continue seeing that smooth, seamless line coming around because all of that's gonna be molded in and look seamless. And I just love how sharp that corner is. But again, that's all gonna be molded by Airstream to give you that look. And then we'll back up to give you the whole view of the rear cap here. And again, that's gonna be molded as well. Even all the way up to the top, there's still no seam up there. And of course, that roof, all of that's built by Airstream. That's gonna be a fiberglass roof as well. They do use Asdell in these walls, so you don't have to worry about that. A really large size of my hand Mercedes emblem. Of course, it says Airstream right there. We do have a two inch receiver here that can tow 4,000 pounds as well as uh, integrated sensors for your backing sensors. And we'll continue right around. What do you think of the colors, babe? The outside colors. Do you care about the outside colors? Oh, I like it. You it's like fine. It? Yeah. You only get one option. <laughs> so if you don't <laughs> like it, 
you, you, you no, have, I think this is kind of a classic look. And then we, we have a macerator pump on this, on the Atlas, that's how it comes standard with a black tank flush. We also have our city inlet there that's gonna be going straight to the, uh, to the faucet. And then we've got our smart power plug right there and there is access to get up to that. So you can have this door closed when you're using it. Now that exhaust there is for the Timberline diesel fired furnace and heater that comes on the E1 package. Otherwise you have a generator exhaust. And then we have the slide room, which I know is kind of weird to see on an Airstream, but the Atlas does come with a slide room and does have outside storage underneath that is actually attached to the slide room. So it stays or comes out. You don't have to climb under the slide to get to that storage uh, if you want to access the storage while your slide's out. Also like how even this slide cap here is molded as well. That's really cool. And then we do have the little door that hides the diesel fill cap. And when you close it and lock your door, that is locked behind it. And coming around, give them a nice shot right here of the coach. Oh, something I didn't mention, does have a light right here. So when you open the door, light will illuminate at night. So you can see when you get in the coach, which is smart, right? That's cool. So that is the outside of the all new 2024 Airstream Atlas. If you want a more in-depth video, again, hang out. I'll link that card above. I'll put the video down in the description so you can go find that once it posts. Now that video will be a whole lot longer than this one, but now we're gonna move into the inside and see Laura's impressions of the inside. You ready, babe? I'm ready. Yeah, massive light change. So there right, comes you. the step. Now there is a step hold. Sorry, are you gonna say that? Yes. Okay, I'll let you do your thing. If you heard over us talking, there was a beep, a continuous beep as we opened the door. That's to let you know to look out. The stairs are opening. I think it would hurt to get clocked with one of those in the shin. It still goes pretty slow, but it would still really hurt to have that down your shin. The step is conveniently right here so that you can easily reach it when you're outside. The step hold, if you turn that on, it will keep the steps out whether or not you close and open the door. So if you're camping and you don't want to put the steps up and down when you're at the campsite, that will leave the steps down the whole wow. time. Good time to come in. It just got windy. Yes, it did. Um, this Atlas comes in four different color options. This is the... Modern Grige. 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 I could not remember the first word. Um, there are three other options for the interior. Again, the exterior is still going to be that silver. You have um, this couch, which does have two seat belt sections in it so that you can safely seat four people while driving. Um, these all recline, if I can find the button. The legs go up. You can also control the back, but the back works as one. So there's just one switch on the other side of the couch, which Chad will hit. So it does recline, but you can see it's all or nothing. Something that's really cool, um, you may have noticed as Chad is moving the camera around, you don't immediately see a TV. That's because it's in here and there's a few different spots where you can do the TV up and down. Am I pressing the right button? Yep. yep. Yeah, you so you just press it. The TV with a JBL audio speaker Correct. comes on up. Soundbar. Soundbar. Um, and this is a what size TV is this? 40 inch. 40 inch. So it will slowly raise all the way up. You've got nice storage up top with a um, lip catch to keep things from falling out if the doors do open um, in transit. Should catch some things. This does come with Starlink. Chad's other video, which he has had a link, uh, will go into a little bit more detail about the Starlink system. We'll go back towards the front and look at some of these cabinets. You've got not really storage in here, but you have two different screens, one for the battery, the Volta power system. I'm impressed. I mean, it says it right there. I can, I can oh, read. Okay. And one for the Timberline. Yep. And then you've got another screen so up many, here. This so is one screens. of four um, control panels yeah. for the unit. You can control the lights, um, whether or not the tank heater is on, the climate, and a whole lot more. Pretty much no matter where you are in the unit, there is one of these control panels within 
probably arm's reach, if not having to do a few steps. <laughs> At least arm's reach. One cool feature is it does have some um, presets in here. So you could hit click cinema. The lights went out, the TV was already up, but the TV would come up, the blinds behind would close. Um, just a cool, it's if really you're cool. like us and you like kind of a one click option when you're watching TV, um, you would just press that cinema button. Um, and again, you can control the lights, climate. the climate, their settings. And then and that's gonna be your shades. Oh, thank you. And then things like the shade, the slide. The slide on. is in here, the awning. Um, plenty of options. Behind the couch, we have the Murphy bed. Do we want to put that down? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have Chad hand me the camera because he knows how to put the Murphy bed down and I don't want to break it. <laughs> okay. So putting it go over there. Oh, the I wanted bed. to show, oh. I just want to show that. That is the lever that Chad will be messing with in a minute. So first thing you're going to do is put the couch down, which actually kind of goes into a bed itself. And then we didn't mention this, but you do have seat belts here. So you can have four people seat belted in seat belts. Which means you could travel with four people, four people. legally. Yes, my brain stopped working. So we're gonna remove these little armrests here. They're just Velcroed down. And uh, now with the bed, the key here, you don't wanna pull on the bed as you're trying to bring it down because it will actually uh, kind of bind the mechanism that's holding the bed up, up or keeping it up. So we'll go ahead and pull that and then we'll grab this and bring it down. And it's just gonna come down fairly simple. You do have a full king in width, uh, not full king in length, but it is nice and long. That kind of goes down, you put your pillows there. There's also a spot down there to put your pillows back. Oh, cool. You know, anything you want to kind of hide down there, stuff your pillows down there, you can do that. You've got reading, reading lights. lights right there and then spots for storage. There's another window there that you also can control with your shades. Right there. So powered shades, very impressive. And uh, of course this window does open as well as the window that is behind the TV. Put that down, the TV down. Now the TV, that's all powered. You just hit click the button once and it's gonna go down or click it up and it goes up. And now to put this away, the same thing, we'll go ahead and kind of push that up a little bit and then click the lever so it unlatches and then we can bring that up. It would be nice to see them transition this to powered in the future, maybe 2025. And then we can put the sofa back in place. And set your armrest back. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna show a little bit more storage that we missed. You've got these sliding doors up here with your Airstream duffel bag or briefcase there. Um, you've got power, cable, and then HDMI, if you want to have a DVD player, a Roku, Apple TV, you could plug into those HDMIs and it would come up on the television instead of having to go direct into the TV. And then a little bit more storage on this side and you have some storage right there as well. You also have some speakers up here. Um, you've got a designated speaker or a... Radio. Thank you, radio sound <laughs> system here that is separate from what you would use when you were driving. So it's not just me that forgets things. No, there's something about doing this that you tend to forget words, very basic words. <laughs> basic words. Um, there are two dinettes that install here and here. Those front chairs spin around so that you could have two people sitting at, they're small dinettes, probably room for one person there. Um, Chad put those up in the other video that we will post in a few days if you wanna see how those work and kind of what it looks like with those dinettes um, in there. We did on the outside, you saw that this is a slide. Um, what I didn't mention when the Murphy bed is down is that the, mur or the full bed fits when the slide is closed. So if you're in a Cracker Barrel parking lot and you don't wanna put the slide out, you know, quick um, one night somewhere, you can put the Murphy bed down and fit, fit it in this spot when the slide is closed. You just can't go around the bed. It's very tight. Yeah. Um, coming back, you've got your galley. You have a nice sink there. 
And then your trash can is kind of hidden in. Kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. And then because of the, I forget what it's called, E1, E1 package. I remember E1 package, you've got an induction um, stove top here. If you do not have the E1, you have a two burner stove um, that would run off the diesel generator. Propane. Propane. Um, but this is the induction. You have a ton of storage. You have a nice little compartment there for sponges and brushes. You got a drawer here. You have a really deep storage there it goes back about 18 inches or so and then i really like this little pull out little extra counter space there you've got three more drawers here with your airstream um, utensil organizer and then plenty of kitchen storage in here on the opposite side you have your fridge which is a 12 volt fridge mm -hmm. decent space there and then freezer is underneath and you have your convection microwave up top um, which you see in the other airstreams um, as the option which you can air fry cook um, you know there's a lot it's you can right. do in there. Doing it's all right there. Vanna White. Um, more storage for the galley in here. You've got that, and then you have your pretty typical Airstream pantry here. These shelves are adjustable depending on what you're trying to put in there. And then, I don't think I showed, you've got storage up here as well. You do have blinds for this window. Um, one of the very few blinds in here that is not powered. Um, so those you can do yourself. Chad showed this one earlier, another control panel for the whole unit. And then at the very back, you have a bathroom. You do have a door here that locks in place. So you can close it and it'll click in place and then you can't open it until you press that back down again. There is what looks like a handle until there's toilet paper on it. The toilet paper holder back here right. um, is on the back side of the door if you want to show that. Really thought it was a handle until it came off. No, no, it's toilet paper. I know that, but it looks like a handle. It's not really anywhere else to put toilet paper, so. So it goes there. Um, you've got your porcelain toilet. Which is new for. Which is new for 2024. Right. Uh, because they went to the bigger chassis so they could um, hold the weight of the porcelain toilet. I it, listen when Chad makes his videos. They're so heavy. And then you've got a little bit of storage up here, which to me just seems like a good spot for toilet paper storage, but I'm sure you could fit a lot of other stuff in there. Um, a nice towel rack. One of the first things when I walked in the unit is just this shower. I think it's beautiful. Um, you've got the built-in lights. You've got a shower door lock here, which Tra when you're travel lock. travel lock, when you're traveling, have that on because these doors slide open. And if you don't have that locked, um, the doors will flop around when you're traveling. I'm gonna channel Chad here in. Oh, are you? I, was I gonna, am. I was gonna say in the watch the video to see. The shower is huge for an airstream. It is huge for the size of this Atlas. It is a huge shower. You've got beautiful lighting. Um, I love this teak in the back with a little bit of storage here for probably a shampoo bottle or two <laughs> and then some soap. Um, you would need to take that out when you're traveling because there's nothing there to keep it from falling. You've got a beautiful Kohler shower head that comes off yeah i just think this the way the shower is in the corner it's kind of like a it's like um, a statement piece yeah exactly so then you've got your sink with the mirror some really nice storage up here for different sizes of bottles and other things you need to store um, in your medicine cabinet and then some storage on the outside as well um, Another sink, your bathroom sink here. Um, you do have power for blow drying or straightening or whatever you'd need to do. And then another control panel. So, you know, you get out of the shower, you're cold, easy to change without having to walk through the unit. Oh, jeez. Just almost <laughs> fell. <laughs> We're good. A little bit of storage under the bathroom. You could fit a small trash can in there if you wanted to. And then you've got two wardrobes 
This one, uh, the shelves are adjustable, but it does not have anything to hang in here. These are the dinette legs that we were talking about earlier. Again, watch that other video for Chad um, to demonstrate how those work. And then you've got a nice cedar lined closet. This is the other half of the wardrobe. You can take this shelf out to then hang clothes. Um, some throw pillows and this unit does come with sheets, which is pretty cool. Sheets and comforters and towels even, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a nice upgrade. And then I think this is a really cool addition is some drawers. Gives you a different option for storing your clothes or whatever else you may have in here. Massive hinges. So that is the Airstream 2024 Atlas. Personally, I love it. I think it looks really classic and you have all the um, really nice touches that Airstream puts on its units. Now, I definitely like the aluminum cylinder. Mm -hmm. And you've got this aluminum back here as well. Yeah. So it's kind of that if you're in it, you know it's an Airstream because of this aluminum. Did you notice the aluminum on the sink in the bathroom? Yeah. That's super cool. All right. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so you can see the next video that we post on the Atlas. That will be more of a full walk video. Most likely it's going to be around an hour or so. We're going to show you the roof on it. I'll go into a lot more detail about the E1 package. We'll also do a test drive in that video as well and talk, just kind of give you an idea of what it feels like. Of course, come to the dealership and do a test drive yourself. If you're interested in buying an Atlas, uh, you can call me. I'll be happy to help take care of you and get you the exact motorhome that you're looking for. Other than that, you guys live riveted, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.